Welcome back to Royalty Soaps. Are you ready to see another elemental soap? Well, I have one for you today and it didn't turn out according to plan. I've made a few fire soaps in my time, a fair few. I thought I had truly mastered the technique, but alas, as you will see today, I can still improve. So before we scuttle along and make fire with no fire, uh, today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Now I've been working with Skillshare a very long time and they always surprise me with how good they are at keeping up with the times and truly giving the people what they want. So Skillshare is an online learning community where millions of people come together to take their next step in a creative journey. And there are thousands of inspiring classes for creatives and curious people on literally like any topic. There's illustration and animation. There's marketing, productivity, and crafts. Lots of crafts. Skillshare has something for everyone. I cannot tell you how often I use them. So recently I've been using Skillshare to learn about all the Adobe products. I have an iPad that I've been using to sketch out my designs recently. And my gosh, it has been so helpful. I will link the class right now on screen so that you can see which one I am currently using and taking. And let's face it, I'm rewatching it. I've already watched all of it. I'm just rewatching it because, you know, you can't always learn everything in one go. Skillshare has also been really, really instrumental with helping me learn about business structure. I obviously am not a business expert, as many of you guys probably know. I did not go to college. I do not have a bachelor's or a master's degree in business. Everything I know was either taught to me by my dad, who does, <laughs> or Skillshare, or through other creatives and, you know, the school of hard knocks. So it's always been something that I'm learning along the way. And it's really, really helpful to have someone who is a master in business and, and marketing and all that sort of stuff just kind of come to you and tell you everything right up front so you're not always having to do the school of hard knocks. So because Skillshare is like specifically made for helping you learn things, there are no ads. So it's not going to be distracting when you're trying to watch your class and learn. And an annual subscription is less than $10 a month. Also, Fun fact, Skillshare does live videos now, so you can watch the master at their craft in live time. That's so cool. And now for the good stuff. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link down in the description box below, it's also in the pinned comment, just so you know, will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium so that you go explore your creativity and learn all the things for a limited time for free. So yeah, just click the link. You won't be sorry. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. And are you guys ready to watch me kind of flop a fire soap? Proceed. We shall begin. <laughs> okay, so here's my large bucket of oils and I'm gonna blend it up with my stick blender real quick and then we're gonna pour our lye water solution in. Now I'm gonna pour in my lye water solution, glub, 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 and blend that up until just past emulsion. Okay, so this soap is four textured layers. So the first step for me is to get those four layers separated. Then I can color and fragrance them as we go along. I'm not gonna do all of that up front because I don't want this to get too thick. Okay, so I'm gonna remove three of these buckets. And to this bucket, we're going to add some true yellow. Move it to the middle here so you can actually see what I'm doing. <laughs> and some titanium dioxide and some fragrance oil. So the fragrance oil I just added is sweet orange chili pepper. That pepper, chili pepper. <laughs> sweet orange chili pepper from Nature's Garden. So I'm gonna mix this up real quick. Okay, and now that that's done, I can go ahead and pour it into my large slab mold. I'm gonna pour this right in. So buttery, hmm. Scrapey, scrapey, my containy. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is pour my next layer on top of this one, but this one is not set up. So I'm going to try to make it sort of look gloopy. Like I like, I want it to look runny, 
I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna be able to accomplish here, but we'll see, we'll see. I want this to look slightly mixed, but also have like a top layer that isn't. Uh, and I don't know, it's it's a new technique. I, I'm a new technique, like I'm inventing something. It's something that I want to try. I'm not actually sure it's gonna make any sort of a cohesive design, but here's to hoping. It looks like we're gonna end up with basically just a drop swirl, but hopefully a shallow one, cause that's the point. Okay, amazing. So let me just scrape this out real quick. Have no idea if this is doing what I want it to. This is gonna be like my fire soap experiment. I know right now it really just looks like butter, <laughs> but don't worry, the orange, the orange is coming. Okay, so now for the orange. Ooh, I feel like this one actually might be doing a little closer to what I wanted the other layer to do. It's still so runny. The spoon is really just used to break the fall. I don't want it going down too deep, but I feel like <laughs> I may not be mitigating enough damage over here. It's just too watery. Okay, time for the final layer. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> okay, final layer here. Going good, going well. Trying not to hold my breath. Okay, gonna scrapey scrapey. This final containy. Get all that red into here. And then it is far, far too runny for me to texture right now. So I am just gonna wait a couple minutes and by a couple, I mean like 15 maybe. And then I will come back and texture this soap a little bit, make it look a little more fiery. Okay guys, this is what our fiery soap top looks like. So I am gonna wait 18 to 24 hours and then we'll come back. We'll split the slab into loaves, cut the loaves into bars after this quick commercial break. Okay guys, I'm not sure about it. <laughs> I had, I, I feel like I had a decent idea, but I feel like the execution was weak. I don't love it. Uh, so I'm probably gonna rework this design, but whatever, we're gonna cut it. Also, it smells really, really good. Absolutely nothing wrong with the fragrance oil. I feel like the fragrance oil is super, super fitting for the soap, like it totally matches. But this design ain't it. So here's what I'm gonna do to improve. I like the concept. It's, like I said, it smells really good, but I like the concept. I just think that it needs more flame looks. I think it's too gloopy. So I'm going to take a hanger and next time I'm gonna hanger swirl it and I feel like that's gonna give it a little bit more pizzazz. And then also I'm going to drop these thinner. So I am gonna still drop them because I feel like that's good, but I'm gonna drop smaller portions instead of trying to like ladle it and make it sit on top. I feel like it should be a good drop and I also think it needs a hanger, but the colors are also pretty good. I think that this yellow right here needs to be the lightest yellow. I don't think we should go this light because you can barely tell that it's been colored. So there you go. You're getting to see a design that I made that I'm not happy with 100%, pretty ugly. <laughs> And that's fine, I'll just change it and these will be peasant soaps. Uh, see, see this right here? I wanted more of that. I wanted more of this. You see where that's like licking up? That's kind of how I envisioned a lot of it looking, but it just didn't translate. My technique wasn't debased. Okay, so question of the day. Wow, okay, this is more what I was thinking. See this? See how it's like all licking up and looking weird? That's what I wanna see. And this is a very end piece, so that makes sense. I'm gonna aim for this in the future, a little bit more like that. Ooh, that looks really good too. I like this little swirly bit. Anyway, 
Would you describe yourself as someone who loves fire? As someone who feels indifferent to fire? Or someone who's like averse to it, like you don't like it at all? I'm a real hard neutral on fire, but so many people that I know are like, yes! pyromaniac love fire so much or are like scared of it so you tell me how you feel about this element down in the comment section below we learn we grow we do our best to improve <laughs> like i said this isn't my finest soap but it does smell really good and it gives me a good jumping point so if you would like to see the final finished design we always post cut bar photos on Instagram. You can follow me at Royalty Soaps. You can also follow me at KDW Carson if you want to see me and my kids and our dogs and stuff. Um, I also am saving the kind of like dog reveal or whatever until a little later on because I have some videos filmed of them when they're puppies and stuff. It's really cute. Also, I got to find out my dog's exact DNA thanks to Wisdom Panel. If you've never heard of that, it's Dog DNA Kit, which is fantastic. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring. Don't forget to click the link in the description box below and the pinned comment because the first 1,000 people that do will get Skillshare Premium for free for a limited time. Be sure you do something fun for yourself today, like, I don't know, building a little fire and cooking some marshmallows. Make sure where you're building the fire, it's like legal to build it. I'm just like imagining somebody in an apartment in New York being like, build a fire, I'll do it. And then like just turning around and building it on their countertop. Please don't do that. <laughs> Take these suggestions lightly and with a grain of salt if they don't apply to you. Or maybe turning your TV into like a fireplace, you know, where you can get those screensavers and it like gives you all the glory and all the magical crackle of a fire without any of the danger. That's nice too. I don't really care what you do. Just be sure you do something fun for yourself today. And if you'd like to see me cut this soap on TikTok, well, you can follow me on TikTok. That's right, I'm on TikTok. I'm not too old. Not too old. And I will see you guys in the next video. So have an absolutely magical day. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video. So until then, have an absolutely royal day. And bye for now. You.